Hello Internet, I'm Sauke and today I want to show you my new track pump. It's a Birzman Aboge. I put the link where I bought it to the description. Let's see if it's any good. This pump got a metal frame and wooden handle. The pressure gauge is located on the plastic base part. With this model you can pump up to 11 bars of pressure. My pump's plastic base part is not stable. Looks like one of the legs is bent, so this doesn't stand straight. The barrel is still at about 5 degrees towards the user. It should make it easier to use, but I'm not so sure about that. But why it's called track pump? That's stupid. This came with some spare parts, and there's also adapters to use with all kinds of things. But that's not why I bought this. I bought this because of this small valve head. After I lowered the front suspension of my Quest, I noticed that my old pump's valve head is too big. There's just not enough room. Thanks to Wim Shermer and his blog, I found Birdman pumps with that small valve head. Let's compare my old pump to this new one. See the difference in size. It's even worse with the lever in up position. The using of this new valve head is quite different compared to the old one. It took some practice to learn how to use this. With shredder valve, you just press the collar to locket position and screw the head to the threads of the valve. There's also a pressure release valve, so you can set the pressure very accurately. To unlock, pull the collar to unlocket position and unscrew the head. With Presta valve, the procedure is quite similar. Put the collar to the locket position and screw the head to the valve. Unlocking is much easier. Just pull the collar to the unlocket position and the head is out. This Birchman valve head is a little bit easier to use with Quest than the old pump's head. Here you can see the 5 degree barrel angle. The pressure gauge is quite easy to see, even the green bar numbers are quite easy to read. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.